Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy John for the game dude here, welcoming you to some more Zangenropa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, um, yeah, as you can see, blood, investigation scene, somebody dead, a dude dead. It's fine, you know, it's definitely might not be my boyfriend or anything. Yeah, so I am currently recording this pretty much before my vacation, so. For those of you that don't know, uh, while you're seeing this, I'll be on vacay, because this episode drops on the 12th. Ah! I cannot believe this. Like, I have this and the trial and a couple of other things to tackle before vacay. And actually, I feel pretty proud of myself. I did a pretty good job of getting myself set up and ready for it. Holy hell, though. I'm not ready for this. Like, I, I like how I can get myself set up for a whole vacation, but... Learning whether or not my boyfriend's dead? Nah, that's a problem. That's a problem with queens and kings and everyone in between. Anyway, hopefully you all have a wonderful day. Uh, as we are going to go ahead and figure out a couple of things. I'm going to do everything but the hydraulic press uh, if I can avoid it. So, washing machine. It looks like a car wash. I imagine it, it can be used for cleaning the exit holes. Doesn't look like it's been used in a while, so I don't see any clues here. Hi, Himiko. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? Oh, that's right. Everybody's kind of like worried that somebody committed the murder. The way you are now, uh, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaido's dad. Uh, no. No, that's not. I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me, okay? If you keep bugging me, hey, huh? I'll give you your afro hair with my magic, okay? She's awfully stubborn about this. Is she that suspicious of everything right now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? The traces of blood. What is this? A, a blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern as if it dragged. It looks like it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. The blood stain suggests there was something dragged from the bathroom to the press. The swipe pattern bloodstain has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. I'm assuming, yeah, we can go to the restroom. So Miyuki's not gonna want to talk to us either. I doubt it. The Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Okay. Yeah, it won't be of much use to us. Jeez. It was so useless. He probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. Uh, he, he wanted to give it to us. He w oh hi. That's nice. It's fine. It's fine. A mascot appearance at a murder scene just brings a sense of relief and a peace of mind. <laughs> I popped out again. Jeez. What an attention hog. Facts, Himiko. Hmm. Of course I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. Hey. And yet I've appeared fewer times than a plain Jane Samugi over there. It'd be false advertising if I just didn't appear as often, uh, you know? Oh, God. False advertisement for sure. Um, advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it. Just focus on the investigation for now. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. I think that was like a random scene. Operational panel. Ooh. <clears throat> it's a panel that controls the alarm system and the electric barrier. I don't see any reason to, uh, to turn them back on, though. Okay. Oh my god. Is the press, like, one of the biggest things that we're gonna have to do? Oh, no. Uh, pre uh, press operational panel. The controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. Hmm. I don't want to see the crushed body, no matter who it is. But I have to oh, do what? it. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a deep breath, and pressed the button. Hmm. Huh? It's not moving. Yeah, because we disabled the thing. I pressed the button a few more times, and, but the press wouldn't move. Why? Strange. It moved when I pressed it last time. After looking at the press, I found... Ugh. The power cord is cut. I see. There's no power, so the hydraulic press wouldn't move. Hmm. That can't be a coincidence. The cord was cut on purpose. This must have been the work of the culprit. Hydraulic press has been added to the truth blood section of the monopad. Oh! So maybe it wasn't Maki. So here was my initial thought process, which I think I covered, I did cover because Joy commented on it in the last episode. My initial thought process was that us using the hammers caused the electricity to go out, henceforth killing the person in the hydraulic press. 
Could that be a decoy? Could that not be a decoy? We gotta find that out. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. Hmm. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some clue. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have stopped instantly if you used this. Well, well, if the culprit were planning this murder, they, I would have no use for it. What concerns me, though, is the safety function. That's right, this hydraulic press should have had a safety function. The infrared sensor detects a living thing, and then pre the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. Yeah, but Kibo's not a human. Kibo's not a living organism. Therefore, it shouldn't stop. If the sensor detected the person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Hmm. Stop automatically, huh? Safety function has been added through. Well, it's a fact section of the handbook. The press itself. We gotta go look at the bud. The hydraulic press is down and there's blood within the area. If we use the lift up to the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. But the power cord has been cut. The press won't move. In that case, we will not be able to check the body. Yep. Oh, so we literally have to go to the drag. Oh, God. Unless the painting machine is part of it, but I don't think so. It looks like a machine uh, machine used to paint exosols. The smell kind of smells like paint thinner. Looks the same as before and probably won't be related to this case. That's what I figured. Okay. Exosol right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open and the cockpit is, the cockpit is exposed. So this is how it looks like inside, huh? It's small enough, but big enough for one person. Oh god, hi, more Monokuma. Oh, oh uh, the hatch is open! How strange! Only the Monocubs can turn off the electronic lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the Monocubs can open the hatch? Yeah. Yeah. Normally, the Monocubs are the only ones who can pilot the Exosols. Well. Normally being the keyword. But because of the Electro Hammer thingy, the electric lock is all screwed up. Mm -hmm. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope. No one's asked me about it either. And even if it had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. That seems weird. An electronic lock on the hatch that only the Monocubs can disable. Which must by be why only the Monocubs can control the Exosols. But if you can disable the lock, mm -hmm. you can control the Exosol. Hatch electronic lock has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Does Red have anything on it? Red Exosol is completely hey, still. Shuichi, it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, he might get torn apart. No. no, it shouldn't be able to move. Not without the Monocubs or Kokichi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a pile of scrap then. Hey! Jeez, uh, don't scare me like that. Uh, my magic. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Uh, uh, but I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move it at any time with by the remote, huh? Hey! Eko, why didn't you say so sooner? That's if Kukichi is alive. But the remote control Kukichi had is for the Exosols. What is it exactly? What does he have because he's the mastermind? Or what? This is the bathroom. Now that I think about it. No, I'm locked up in this bathroom. But Kukichi is just outside that door. This is the place where Kaido was imprisoned. Kaido might have left some kind of clue here. No. no, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. The Exosol Hangar Bathroom. Okay, there's a still a there's still traces of blood. A blood stain. A puddle of blood in the center of the room, and a swipe pattern from there to the door. Hmm. What could this mean? Blood stains in the bathroom has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopod. Oh, the crossbow. Uh-oh. A crossbow. This is... One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is that here? Crossbow has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopod. Uh-oh. Glass bottle. Poison. Ooh-ooh. Ooh, there's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. If I remember correctly, I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely, but I can see the word poison. Could it be... And if it's poison, this bottle must hmm. be taken from my lab. 
I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with the case. The small empty bottle has been added to the split section of the monopod. Oh, they have blood on them. Uh oh. There's arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total, and all of them have uh, blood. Um... What is this? What happened here? Three arrows have been added to the truth blood section of the monopod. Ah, oh, this case. Oh, what's in the black case over there? As if backing away he's from the conversation, Kaido headed for the far shell. What's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? This is the case from before, right? Large black case has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopad. The window. A small window for ventilation, this is. The same window from before. It's a small window, and it doesn't open all the way. No one will be able to fit through here. Well. Hmm. I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaido would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. Bathroom window has been added to the truth bolt section of the monopad. Hmm. Finish my investigating at the bathroom. There were more clues than I thought there would be, and particularly one is concerning. Why is this crossbow here from Maki's lab? And the three bloody arrows. Those arrows were definitely from the crossbow. But why are all three bloody? And that bottle of poison. What could that have been used for? Hmm. There's still too much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. No, yes. We want to leave. They basically told us that you're done over here. Uh-oh. Why is the Exosol moved? The Exosol's right in the middle of the hangar now. The hatch is open and the cockpit is exposed. So that's how it looks inside. Small, It's small but big enough for one person. But, but only the monocups have, can disable the electronic lock. And only they can control the Exosols. But on the other hand, if you could disable the lock, you can control the Exosol. But why did it move? I don't want to talk to you. If you keep bugging me, I'll use my explosion magic. She's awfully stubborn. Is she suspicious of everything now? Or is, she, is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anybody? Yeah, I did, did, got it. I think there's still things to investigate in here. Operation panel back to that. I don't see any reason to turn it back on. Samugi, maybe? Oh my. There isn't enough info on the Monokuma file. We don't know the cause of death or the time of death. The culprit's probably Kokichi, but I'm worried about the class trial. If they're unable to check the body, that's correct. The blood we already looked up. That's true. We looked at the washing machine. We looked at the painting machine. Axisil is completely still standing in the storage space. Kokichi can activate it the remote, but the remote control uh, Kokichi has for the Axisils. What is it exactly? In right. Oh, a bit of clothing. That's literally... Oh, God. That's the only thing I missed. Brother in Christ. If that's the only thing I missed, I'm going to be upset. 
There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It definitely is Kaido's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must no. be. No. That hasn't been determined yet. I need to investigate further. It looks like the left sleeve is sticking out of the hydraulic press. Only the sleeve is sticking out. No part of the victim's body is visible. Were they, on were they crushed completely? So that only the sleeve remains? Hmm. Huh? What is this? The sleeve has a single small hole in it. Hmm. A hole in the sleeve. What could that be? Kaido's code has been added to the truth bolt section of the handbook. I suppose that's all the information I can deduce from the hydraulic press. Can't check the body, so I won't have many clues to work hmm. with. I'll have to find clues elsewhere. That's everything I can investigate here in the hangar. There's still questions. Um, the truth is still far out of the reach. I can't deduce who the victim is. Hmm. I need more clues, to, so I should investigate in other areas. I should start with areas around the hangar. Just missed Kaido's coat sleeve. Good job. Good job, me. Good job. Pat on, pat on the back for me for missing, like, the most obvious point piece of information. It's fine, y'all. The alarm system is off and is still affected by the electro bomb. Right. I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be more clues around here. <sighs> Phew. I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Shuichi. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm glad... I was a bit worried for you. I'm glad you're feeling better. There was something I needed to ask you, Hiro. Hey. Before you went into the hangar this morning, you said... So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry. I thought that it would be preferable for him to release Kaido peacefully. How'd it go? It went about as well as I ex expected. There was no response at all. But I did witness a few things. Uh, um... You said you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Hmm. Oh, yes. Since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the Exosouls returning to the hangar. Okay. Yes, you said the Exosouls could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen. I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the Exosouls, I saw someone headed toward the hangar. Huh? You saw someone? Um... Yeah, I saw Kimiko. I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi... That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. What? A black bag? I... At the time, I assumed she was going to examine things or plead with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But, but after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. What? What did you see? Uh, Why? She was acting like she had something to, to hide. It's not what I, not that I want to suspect her or anything. Right. True. It is suspicious. Hey. You said you saw her come back as well, right? Was she holding that bag at the time? Well. Now that I think about it, she didn't. So, she had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be. The black bag Himiko was carrying was... Um, By the way, this is a little off topic, Shuichi, huh? but... What is it? Yes, I thought. The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb. But but it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. But so what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction, such as hay fever. Which means it could be a effect or it could have affected a human the same way, but being a robot had nothing to do with uh, it. Okay. Right, that must be it. So, that thing Kimiko said was bothering him. Uh, he really is a bit too sensitive. Kibo's account has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Interesting. So that's how he got the bow was from Himiko. Uh, this is a this is the control panel that controls the electric barriers projecting the hangar. We hit it with the electro hammer, so it is not operational at the current moment. That's true. That's right. What are the marks here? It looks as if it was struck by something sharp. What could this be? Hmm. Oh, wait. How were they even able to damage it in the first place? Getting near the control panel should have set the alarm off. You could turn off the alarm before getting close. How did the person who did that get near the control panel? Hangar's front shutter has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. This is the bathroom window. The hangar is 
only window, it, and it's not possible to fit through. This means the only way to get into the hangar is through the shutter. Correct. We knew that. Kibo, shutter. The hangar shutter. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable or get near the shutter. A loud alarm would go off and the entire academy would be able to hear. We had to use an electro bomb to disable the sensor. How did somebody get into the hangar? That's not exactly a bomb though. Even if it's called an electro bomb. It just drams electronic signals by scattering particles and interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, all electronic devices within 50 yards is completely disabled. It is so perfect for any secret activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs in total. One of them stolen by Maki, but one of the other two. Electro bomb has been added to the truth bolt section of the handbook. That's about all I was concerned with in the hangar, but I still don't have enough clues. There has to be more. Other places might yield some clues okay. are Maki's lab and my own lab. The crossbow in the bathroom and the bottle of poison. I need to investigate right. those leads. I should be able to inspect the three exosoles that were. I should also inspect the three exosoles that were protecting Monokuma. Uh, why were they protecting in the first place? That might be related to the case as well. Okay, well, the, the exosoles were, I believe, in this little roomity room. Yes. The exosol isn't showing any signs of moving. If Gokichi is alive, he can use his remote control uh, to move them as he pleases. But the remote control Kokichi has for the exosols, what is it exactly? What does he have that the master, or, be, or why, did, or does he have that because he's the mastermind? The exosol isn't showing signs of moving. Okay, he's alive. He can do as he pleases. But the remote control has the exosols. What is it exactly? That's important. If I can get to it. There's an electro hammer here, but why? And it's out of power, so it must have been used. But used for what? Well, you know. But be careful! The electro hammers run out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an exosol, it'll run out of juice in one shot. Got it? If I remember, if the electro hammer power is expanded it requires what are expended it requires 24 hours to recharge we know that for certain use electro hammer has an added the truth bullet section of the handbook if i remember uh that's or if i remember the sign i saw yesterday the exosoul is protecting monokuma for some reason kokichi said he was the mastermind and the exosouls should have been around him so why were they protecting monokuma and four of them too hmm I suppose I was caught up thinking about Kokichi. I ignored Monokuma. Pay attention! Listen up! Take heed, I say! Monokuma. It's just, I noticed that you came this way last night, Shuichi! Huh? What? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Uh, like a teenage boy trying to creep into a adult movie section at the video store! But you didn't need to sneak around because the exosoles wouldn't have attacked you. Hey. What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak. Because everyone coming to rent adult movies is so in a way. Everyone's going to be there is, or everyone there is the same. Wait. No, no, not that. I meant about the exosoles not attacking us. Oh, at the time, the exosoles were on autopilot. Only directed to, or, and directed only to observe me. Hey, uh... Their movements were limited now. 
that the monocubs aren't around to pilot them. Autopilot? You mean the remote control Kokichi has? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the Exosuits were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But they were focusing on Monokuma. Hey. Why are you telling me all of this? This puts a person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey, um... um but we're not talking about that now, are we? Uh, we're talking about this. Uh, yeah. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys anyway. Hey. So I'll share it instead. That way, it'll be fair for all the participants. So someone else knows besides me. Why wouldn't they share this information? Okay. That's all I can tell you! Yeah. By the yeah. way, renting movies is so old school, it's more thrilling to illegally download and pirate your videos. Psycho it's like <laughs> I, it's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. Uh, oh my god. Wow. I mean, hey, it's okay. It's okay, Monokuma. That's good to know. This information about the Exosols could be a clue to solving the case. I should remember this. Exosoul's protecting Monokuma should be added to the uh, truth bullets of the Mono tag. Honestly, big game hunting is so important, Monokuma. You gotta get... Uh, especially because I'm, like, into them beefy mu muscle bears. How'd you know? Oh my god, Monokuma. Can't believe you would know that. Travis Kelsey, not right there or anything. No way. Six freaking five, 250 pounds of man. Yeah. And a hair totally totally fine i know that a lot of people don't like it but i don't care i do so it's okay um uh, yeah monokuma you're not supposed to know that i didn't know you would reveal my secret to the entire i'm joking it's not even a secret i'm very open about that <laughs> why was that a perfect monokuma <laughs> What the fuck? Anyway, um, perfect Monokuma lap aside, what the, like, I couldn't have done that better if I tried. Um, we're going to my lab and Maki's lab. My lab's over here. Oh, I can't fast travel right now. Great, googly moogly. Let me get out this door so I can fast travel real quickly. <laughs> I don't know why I can, it's like, oh, no, nah, you're not gonna be able to fast travel. Fast traveling? What's that? But now that I'm outside, watch me be able to fast travel. Unless I'm actually gonna get caught up. Which, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be okay with. No, 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 we can fast travel now. Look at that, surprise! We just have to walk outside the door. We can fast travel now, look at that, okay. So it's that, the detective's lab, and... The other thing, so the poison's on this side. The bottle of poison in the hangar, I need to confirm that they came from here. There are several bottles of poison lined up in here. I haven't seen any poison outside of the lab, so... The small boys in a, a bottle of poison I found must have come oh. from here. <sighs> There's a little less li liquid inside the other bo or this bottle than the others. Its label says strike nine poison. The poison takes some time to spend or to spread, but even a small amount of it mm. can be lethal. I can imagine that there's a smaller amount in this bottle, or... I can't imagine there's a smaller amount in this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. Poison has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. There's still some other things that I would like to investigate in here. Oh. oh. Small glass bottles. There's a bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Did something take someone take them out? The bottles say antidote. Hmm. Antidotes, huh? I didn't know there were here. According to the labels, each bottle has only one dose. And each only works on a specific person or a specific yeah. poison. Well, I suppose that makes sense. Well, there are plenty of different kinds of poisons, so that must be true for the antidotes. Hmm. Strike nine poison and antidotes. That's disconcerting. None of these antidotes are for the strike nine poison. They're all for different poisons. What could that mean? Bookshelf. Uh oh. Case files lined up for me to read. There's nothing off about them. They don't seem to be related. Okay, that's all we needed to know. So now to Maki's lab, which is I'm expecting to be torn apart a little bit. So Maki's lab was on the second floor. No, that's the gifts. Hold on. Maki's lab...
was on the third floor. <laughs> Correction. <laughs> we discovered in the second chapter it was the third floor. Um, and I only remember that it was the second chapter because the character that hit the big one was the easiest freaking character for me to voice game. Anyway, oh look, we're going right to their lab because instinctually that's where I want to go. Oh my gosh. I'm still so, I'm like, I'm so upset about that one. Easiest voice for me to freaking voice act. I literally went, this is the easiest character for me to voice and it's kind of crazy. Hardy, 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 hard. Dead. Okay. The dead stag and rope though. We, we expect that. <laughs> but still, ultimate assassin's lab. I feel as though there are less weapons than I remember. Yes, there definitely are. All right. Everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Are all of those weapons? So you went to my lab yesterday to find the weapons to use against Monokuma. It's because Kaido had them all. The black the black case is gone. As suspected, there are only two black bags here. Identical to the one in the hangar. The case are the cases are for crossbows. The crossbows inside are disassembled no. disassembled. It looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they're disassembled. Are those two when I was here with Kaido before? There were three of them. And I'm sure Kaido didn't have a crossbow with him. That's true. In that case, the crossbow in the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it to the hangar from here. But it's fairly difficult to put the crossbow together. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught no. you. I'll think more about that later, but for now I need to investigate. Crossbow's been added or been updated to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Alright. Alright, I've investigated this room thoroughly. I didn't find any evidence to suggest that Kaido was dead. On the contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kokichi isn't dead. Monokuma is still moving around, and the killing game has not ended yet. And Kaido's clothes were in the hydraulic press. Which means the victim must no. be No, it's too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time, so I need to should get back to the hangar. Perhaps I miss, miss something, so I should check again. I'm just curious what will be there. Because, like, there's gotta, there's gotta be a big reveal, right? And whether that comes in the form of investigation or class trial, there is gonna be one. There's no doubt about that. It's so crazy that I can navigate this backwards. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be able to, but like I can actually navigate it backwards now. Ooh, Maki and Kiba or Maki and Kiba are both here now. Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi, can you come with me? What happened? Is something wrong? Um, I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. What? What did you find that I didn't? He shouted quickly and ran to the bathroom. Hmm. What are you talking about, Kibo? What? Hey. How do we not see that? Kibo, what are you looking yes. at? Take a look at this. Those are Kokichi's clothes. It's soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt those are Kokichi's. Where did you find this? I didn't see it when I was investigating the bathroom. And why are they soaked? Well, well the toilet seems clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain and pulled these clothes. It looks like they couldn't be flushed all the way. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Why were there clothes in the toilet to, or in the toilet to begin yeah. in the first place? Yeah. It was very brave of me, and thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. Now, Shuichi, please investigate as much as you want. Okay. Yes. Clogging the toilet, huh? But this isn't the time to hesitate. Kokichi's clothes found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. But who would do that? What's the matter? Is something the matter? Please investigate. Uh, okay. Okay. The ultimate detective can't stop here. This has to be an important All right. clue. All right. I made up my mind. Grab Kukuichi's cloak, soak clothes, and spread them hmm. open. Huh? 
There's a small hole in the back. Another small hole on the sleeve. This is about the same size as the one on Kido's, or Kaido's sleeve. There are traces of blood around the holes, too. What does this mean? Could it mean that he was attacked? In that case... No. There's a chance Kokichi was the one in the cr uh, crushed under the hydraulic press. Thank you. Ah, Kibo. Thank you, thank you for this very important clue. Well. Oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of yours. No. Oh, your hands aren't clean either, though. Kokichi's clothes have been out of the truth quote section of the monopod. But if Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press, where did Kaido go? Why not show himself? And why is this game still going, even though the mastermind is still dead? Or the, even if the mastermind is dead. Um, um, if this is awkward, Shuichi, can I give you some privacy? Huh? You're concerned about that? Kiba and I washed our hands in the sink. And I left the bathroom. <laughs> Maki, what did you see? Maki, why is it so easy for you to believe that Kaido is dead? Hey, hey! it's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Was no one able to find Kokichi? Uh, um... I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I see. I wonder where he's off to. Did he disappear? He can't still be in the hangar. Or... Under there. Could it be? Shuichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? huh? Seems like... I mean, your face says you want to think that. It's plain to But see. I think it's just plain impossible. Kokichi's been manipulating us all from the start. I can't believe someone like that could have killed by or been killed by Kaido. Huh? Of course I don't mean that as a compliment or to compliment Kokichi or anything, or make fun of Kaido. Okay. I know, but you're probably right. Sumugi has a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi is dead, but I'm certain that one of them must have. Kokichi's disappearance has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopad. <laughs> it's about that time. Well, I'm actually doing the trial today! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm about to get a major mind F R die before my vacation. Oh lordy. Okay, about time That's to start. Right. It's time for the class trial where hope and despair meet head on. Please proceed to the shrine of judgment in the courtyard and head to the trial grounds. Everyone needs to be there, got it? Anyone who's absent will be swiftly and permanently punished. <laughs> I wonder what kind of despair awaits you this time. Hmm. Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokichi or Kaido, whoever's alive, will be there. Then, at the trial, we'll know who the victim is. And in the next episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, we'll be doing Trial Five. How in the world are we doing trial five right now? What the heck? I can't believe it. Anyway, love you all. And we'll see you guys in the next one.